Hello, Chris Gray here, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this high-definition antenna made by a company called One by One. It's their shiny antenna series, and it's a super thin uh, antenna with a 50-mile range, and it has a, I believe, a 20 decibel amplifier that comes in the kit. So if you're thinking about um, cutting the cable and trying to get some local channels, this would be a great way to do it. Um, we're going to test it and see uh, how many channels I get. And um, from what I understand, the high definition um, over the air signal looks better than high definition cable boxes. So there's a couple of different ways the company says you can hook this up to your TV. One is by connecting right to the TV, which I'm going to show you on the TV behind me. Another way is to connect to an actual digital set-top box. So let's look at some of the stuff that comes in the packaging. Here we have, this is the uh, the booster or the, um, the amplifier. You would basically plug in a power cable which is supplied and would plug into a wall. And here is a regular uh, coaxial cable that would plug into your TV. And this way you can get an ampli amplified signal. The only way you would need this is if you're having a hard time picking up a signal uh, depending on the distance you are from, the, from, the, uh, from an antenna or from a um, high definition um, over the air source. Next we have the uh, power cable for the amplifier. It's a USB to a male end power connection. And it also comes with a wall adapter to change the power over from AC to DC so you can plug this in using the USB connector. Okay, so next we have the actual antenna um, wrapped in plastic. Let me take some of this plastic off. This is the shiny series. So I guess it's supposed to have like a shiny appearance. It also has these 3M tape stickers so that you can stick the antenna um, to a wall um, or to um, a window. There's also, uh, you can actually buy an accessory where it'll hold the antenna and you could actually put it on um, your entertainment area or you could put it on a desk, uh, more for like a, like a stand. Also included in this kit are some instructions and some information. Now normally I just throw them off to the side, but uh, these instructions seem to have some pretty useful information inside. It gives you an idea of how you can install said antenna on the back of your TV, it may be slightly different, but you should um, have a coax cable input, just like if you were gonna plug in a um, cable box into. Well, same thing goes for this TV. We're gonna be plugging in this cable, this coaxial cable, from the antenna into this port right here, which is a antenna cable input. Okay, everybody's TV setup is gonna be slightly different in their menu section. So what I did was I turned my input to the antenna and cable, uh, what you normally would do is hit menu, or you would hit, there might be a menu button on your on your controller, and as you can see right there, the first option is antenna cable, I'm gonna select that, and that brings me to this noisy looking staticky screen. Now from here, I'm gonna go into my menu, and go to installation, and like I said, your TV is gonna be slightly different. And I'm gonna scroll down where it says channel tuning, and yours may say uh, channel scan and I'm going to select um, antenna over here and let the auto tuning commence. Now what's gonna happen is the TV is going to scan and look for a bunch of different channels. All right, so the antenna had found 28 different channels that I can use. What's cool about my TV is as I go into different channels, it'll show me the signal strength. It'll also tell me what the aspect ratio is and whether it's 1080p or 480i. So I went back into my settings and I scanned for channels one more time with the antenna closer to a window. I actually, well, I actually put it in the window facing outwards. And when I re-scanned, um, I was actually able to get even more channels. So I got like 52 channels. If you move the antenna to a better location, to an outside wall, and ideally to a, to, to a window or even outside, um, although if you do, you, this is an indoor version, so you might want to keep it like on the inside of the window. Um, they do make outdoor versions as well. 